what people always ask? People who come here and show up on DT and get featured and are a guest of ours, they always ask, how do I get to come back? Say I, I came and did my thing and I ripped and I want to come back again. How do I do that? Well, first thing first, bring a new car. That's it. Sorry everyone, we love you, but if you've done it once with that car, kind of did it, probably liked it, and I'm sure everyone else did. So how do you come back? You bring a different car. So today we have two past guests who did just that. They brought two different cars this time. So who are those guests? Well, one is one of my favorite drivers in FD, not just, you know, just saying, Die. <laughs> Also, my Kojima. My Kojima. I'm the stunt. Oh, yeah. Wow! <laughs> so, yes, so we have two past guests with two new cars. Just trying to give you a little hint what they are. What's up? High fives. How are you? Yep. Mike, up? always nice. Aaron. Nice yeah. to meet you, Aaron. So I see you guys. So I was just trying to explain to people how they always ask, I've been here before, I was a guest, how do I get to come back? And all I explain to them is like, bring different cars <laughs> and do something. Oh, we did. Yeah. So, what did Thank you guys you bring today? Well, we brought our uh, Spoon USA uh, FP2 time attack car. This looks a little fancy. Yeah. yeah. A little fancy? It's a time attack car. The unique thing about this is it's center drive. Uh, hang Driver on. sits in the middle. Yeah, that's definitely not your everyday yeah. thing. He's in the, the center, and he's also really far back, so he's in the center of the car. Baller points. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, hang on, sorry, sorry. Resonant Creeper. I know the internet hates me, but I just could not <laughs> resist coming out for this one. So, you know. For those who don't know, Nads is a big time Front wheel drive daddy, he's all about it. He's time attack dude, so he had to come out. Sorry. Or not sorry, I mean, it'll be good. What can you say about these cars? Look at this. This is two Civic Type R's. Oh, he's gonna, you're done. FK8 oh, <laughs> versus FD2. <laughs> you got the FK8, you got the FD2. I mean, they're both front wheel drive. They're both top of the line Honda. You got a driver who drives rear wheel drive cars. He's driving front wheel drive cars. You got a center drive situation. You could put the shifter on the right or the left. He prefers the left apparently because he's so JDM. He's authentically JDM. And I think this car is so cool. Plus the fact that it's done by Spoon. It's Yoshima-san, super mellow builds. These are not like outlandish builds. That's what I want Mike to tell us about. Oh, okay. Because Time Attack has gone like full hammerhead arrow. Full, not even underbody is not even the thing now. You got to do full tunnels underneath the cars now. But these guys have done so much with so little. That's what I think is so cool about it. I think Mike can tell us a little bit like mechanical grip versus aerodynamic grip versus okay. front wheel drive versus rear wheel drive. All I'm right. sorry. All I'm right. sorry. Right. I'm losing. I'm going to calm down for a second. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go you just cool your jets there. I'm going cool to have a beer over here. Okay, let's get our guests out. back into talking about their cars then. So, yeah, I am really curious because this is, I've seen pictures of this car. I know you just ran this. At Superlab, right? Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. So, and you started, sorry, you started, I got lost in the center drive and then the, the flock oh, dash and it just kind of like, I don't GDM know. fanboy here. Oh, serious. dude, serious? Super excited. Originally a uh, Goes Again car from yeah, Japan. Yeah, a while ago. Oh, well, yes, yeah. so, yes, yes, that's true. Yeah. And it had a bolt-on cage before. Yeah, it had a bolt-on. Yes. They were trying to make it as light as possible and they 
do one lap around a small course, so it doesn't really matter. They don't, they don't really protect the drivers in Japan that no, much yeah, for time attack. We, we had to take care of Dai here, because he, he's more valuable than, than uh, the car. So. <laughs> one of the things, I guess, about this car is that we've never had that much horsepower. Like, we normally run it at about 440 horsepower. If we turn the boost up, it maybe has 490. Um, so we're hundreds of horsepower less than our competition. Uh, a lot of it's because like everybody thinks this is a super trick, badass car, but it's really like pretty low budget and keeping it real, even though that seems kind of far fetched. What? Yeah, it's not that crazy of a car. Like if you look at World Time Attack cars or even some of the really crazy Time Attack cars here, this car is actually, you know, we joke around, call it the Honda Challenge Deluxe. <laughs> you know, that's a NASA dude joke. You wouldn't get it, but. So, since we have limited power, uh, this car mostly gets by a mechanical grip and an uh, arrow that doesn't have much drag. So, anytime we do anything arrow on this car, it's a careful thing that we don't want to upset the balance between uh, downforce and power and straight line speed. So, this is like pretty low drag arrow. With, uh, you know, we try to get the most downforce for the least amount of drag. So it's not nothing crazy. That's why you don't see little things sprouting up all over the place. Oh, so that's why you don't see things like <laughs> extra, yeah. extra canards and stuff flying and, all over and, the thing. And you don't see like the underbody details on the other side of the wheel. And uh, oh, is that why? Yeah. Because that's just for show. No, it's uh, that actually makes a lot of downforce. Oh, okay. There's, there's like drag penalties. Okay. So I mean, you can Mike, see can you explain what a drag penalty is? Like what? What does that cost you? What do you have to do to overcome drag? Uh, uh, like add horsepower. Yeah. Oh. And like too much aero, too much drag. So this car, we've done a lot of things to the suspension to get it working right. So we make the most of the mechanical grip. And the aero is like an enhancement. Uh, like a lot of our competitors, their cars do a lot on aero. Ours is kind of a delicate balance, I would say. Hmm. So this car is very efficient compared to a lot of other cars. It's all about simplicity. It's simple as that. It's so simple. It's a yeah. K20. It's a stock bottom end on this It's thing. a stock bottom end. It's just got pistons and rods, and that's about it. Um, it's not sleep, so we can't do more than 500 horsepower. Stock can. Yeah. This is not yeah, very so. This is not very spoon friendly, though. Normally, no. like most of the <laughs> NA is best, sort of. Yeah. Right? And this full race, up, that's, yeah. a, that's like USDM type we, stuff. We broke enough manifolds <laughs> where we just gave up and we had to get something super strong. And, but the turbo's not that crazy. It's no. just a GT35 or GTX 35R, like a second gen. We don't run very much boost. Um, if, when you go to the events, you probably notice that our car spends a lot of time on track and it's not blowing up. But that's because we're not pushing that hard. I know yeah. Dai's like driving the heck out of this. That's the other thing that I want to ask. Our FD champion, yeah. 2011 Formula Drift champion, Drifter by trade, but learned <laughs> grip and then also learned front wheel drive. How is it like to drive an FF compared to an FR? And do you ever want to like manji down the east west straight? You can't um, really do manji. <laughs> <laughs> I try, I our can't. Our transmission has uh, evidence of that. Well, yeah, the front wheel drive is totally different, right? Like rear wheel drive, you're gonna push, step on the gas, the rear comes out. This one, opposite. You know, when you feel like the rear comes out, you have to step back on the gas to, you know, the uh, straightening out, uh, but I learned a lot from this guy. You know, he had a um, uh, Sentra. Sentra. Yeah, and then I actually raced um, his car like back in 2011. So that's how I learned how to drive front wheel drive. And uh, this one is actually more uh, extra because it's a center drive. Uh, a lot of people ask me, you know, how 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 that feel, but actually, it's it's actually doesn't uh, bug me a lot. Um, you can just get used to it after like a few laps. I hope you sit back behind the B pillar. I think that's that's <laughs> yeah. the thing that makes the biggest difference because he can't see, see very that's, far anymore. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's more than the uh, being the center. Yeah, uh, being yeah. so far back. Seeing so far back. Yeah. I think Mike wrote in Moto IQ that you guys had to build the dash so it would help for your visual. Yeah, to, right. to focus. We more. didn't have a dash before, but then he starts. He sees a lot of the inside of the car. So the, the windscreen is like actually kind of like a TV screen. <laughs> oh, so you're like yeah. disconnected almost from the experience. Exactly. Yeah. It's like you're watching TV yeah. or playing a video game. Almost. Wow. The, the center drive made a pretty big difference in like getting the corner weights right, and we don't have to jack the car around a bunch to get good corner weights. 
and moving the driver back. The driver is the second heaviest component in the car, and putting them way back there really helps the weight distribution. So you moved him to the center and you moved him back. You literally that's, like as far as he can go back. Yeah. There. What do the engineers say? The driver is always ballast. Yeah. Essentially, uh, so. That's all you are, guys. You're just dead weight. You're the guy who makes the records happen, but the engineers look at it as like, oh, this please, weight. we have to figure out where rotten. to put this extra weight. You know, <laughs> in, our, in our team, uh, we call Die the gasket. <laughs> you know, like he's the steering wheel gasket. The steering wheel gasket. <laughs> yeah. Man, how do you feel about that? It's all right. You all know, right. Let, let them say whatever they say. You know. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. there's good gaskets and bad gaskets, and you know, like he's a good gasket. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. Can we talk about the other one that's here too, and the time that Die oh. ran in that car too? Okay. Oh, so we're done with this now? Yeah, I don't we're done with yeah, this one. This is like so, this really? Is like, so there's, we're not going to talk about anything else? Like, no we're, suspension we're stuff? We're retiring this thing, so... I know that... Oh. Yeah, we've been so, we were going to drive it off the dock then, Dai. Is there a thing? <laughs> oh, is that, Can I? Looks well, <laughs> <laughs> like it can fly, but I don't really think it can. <laughs> <laughs> you saw two sport cars here. Two so Type R's. Brand new Civic Type R's. Two Civic Type R's here. We do a real quick Paris wheel goal. Can you see the rest of the car real quick, guys? Can you see the car? We can talk about the rear arrow. I mean, like, Mike, let's talk about this. Like, Before we go to the next car, let's yes. just finish one car. How important <laughs> is the rear arrow on a front wheel drive car? Because I know on a drag car, you're just sort of dragging the car through. And Di talked about the different way, like, when you want to lift, you kind of have to keep your foot in it and pull the car through, as opposed to a rear wheel drive car where you lift to correct and keep it back on line. Right. But how important is the arrow in the rear as it's opposed actually, to... It's actually really critical, even though a lot of people don't believe that. Because a lot of the way you get a front wheel drive car to like not understeer and not burn up the front tires is you actually set it up really loose on the mechanical grip stage. So like all Dai has to do is a little trail brake or even lift the throttle and the car will rotate and pivot around the apex. So at high speeds, the arrow is really critical to keep it um, the back planted because you know, like we run a way stiffer rear spring rate than the front which is different than what most people think. And it's one of the differences between how this car came from Japan and then what we did do it. But uh, most front wheel drive racers run a lot of rear roll stiffness to uh, not overload the front wheels. But you know, if we didn't have the arrow, the car would be a handful in the high speed. Well, one of the things, like I think big mistake that a lot of the uh, American time attack guys do is you notice they have like the huge diffusers with the huge kick up. Yes. Uh, a, lot, a lot of those, the it's too steep, so the flow detaches from the bottom of the diffuser, so it actually just makes a lot of turbulent flow and drag. Again, science, I'm like that. Yeah. completely lost with that. <laughs> uh, I mean, one of the things, the rules, the diffuser can't, can't be too long because of the GTA rules. And uh, when you make a short, steep diffuser, you have uh, flow separation. And you can kind of even see those cars when they're kicking up dust. You see the air exiting the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. tumbling. Like if you saw air exiting ours, it would be shooting out like a jet. Oh. That's one thing we added this year is we added a front diffuser um, on the front splitter. But it's a little bit hard to notice, but it's, it's raised on the, on the front end. And it, it's much smaller than you see on a lot of the other teams. Like the car that just set the record in Australia, the Hammerhead. Sylvia's got that massive yeah. front. Andrew Brilliant is doing these, like, it's just pushing the boundaries of what's legal and what's possible. And I seem to feel like there could be diminishing returns as you start to build that big. Well, there is. Like, um, you know, like the tire can get oversaturated, and then all you're doing is increasing Heating. the load on the tire, and it can't create any more grip. And then you could even overload the tire, and the sidewalls blow out. So if you create too much aerodynamic grip, it just compromises the car. Yeah, there's a point of diminishing return. But we're, I mean, we're nowhere near that point. And US time attack cars or, or North American time attack cars are nowhere near that point. But some of the world time attack cars, their arrow is so sophisticated that they're dancing on that limit. What do you think this makes in pound feet of downforce? Like maybe in the hundreds, high hundreds. Are you serious? Yeah. It's, so not even four digit no, amounts of I, downforce. We, we, can't, we can't push that much. This, then this really is an efficient car. Yeah. This is really the ultimate spoon Ichishima yeah. philosophy. Simplicity. Of Ichishima is san about like yes. So yeah. completely simple. So not a lot of power, mm -hmm. but not a lot of downforce. Great driving. It's all about fine tuning. Let's go to the street, street car. car. Let's go. Right. To the street oh, oh, okay. I was just gonna continue looking at this because, I mean, you guys say this is like a normal looking car, but to me, 
the hot rod guy, this looks like pretty much a race car. Is this really a street car? Yeah, it's a street car. I mean, it basically is stock. The only thing it has are high block rolling springs and a rear sway bar and a straight pipe, which doesn't really add any power because the stock cat is still there, the stock down pipe is still there. So basically our goal was to see what a stock FKA Civic Type R would do. You know, uh, people have been talking about overheating on these things, but we kind of managed to get a handle on keeping the temps down. We opened up the grill a little bit, and then Dai understands that you can only do basically one or two full hot laps before you have to do one cool down just to, you know, get the engine temps down a little bit. Does it have a VIN Sticker? number? Yeah, sure it's, it's got one a of those, number, one of those cars? All right, all right, all right. Just yeah, making sure. Got it from Rock Honda Okay, right there. anyone can get that sticker. I can bootleg that sticker. I can bootleg that, <laughs> that sticker real quick. Dai, Dai, how fast did you go? We did a uh, 158 to be? Something wow. Like, something like that. One yeah. Three or five okay. or something, but sub <clears throat> two minutes yeah. at Button Willow is flying for any car. Right. 158 three in a street full interior <laughs> FKA Civic Type R front wheel drive is amazing. So, I mean, you guys brought two cars. Dai's here. Mike's here. Oh, here Aaron's here. Here it comes. John's here, here doing what he's doing. I'm, I'm, you can't do anything though. You're done. You're out of the mix. That's horrible. <laughs> Man. You guys are familiar with what happens. I mean I've never done anything with the front wheel drive at oh, perfect. Donut College. What I about what about time. okay, maybe I back out. You Oh Dai's oh, joining yeah, the yeah, scumbag sure. ranks. Yeah! Dai's yeah. scumbagging the, with the scumbaggers here. Dai's yeah, on man. our side now. Well, I'm driving that. I don't want to break the nice car. You, <laughs> you can drive whatever you want. You, you, can, you can break your, the nice car. All right. There you go. Space racing the fancy car right. versus the street car. Real quick, Mike. You remember the rules, right? How we're doing this? I cheat and... Okay, sounds good. Aaron, so space race. Mm -hmm. I, I totally forgot. I just figured you... So we actually line you up and you just race the length of this container. That's the space race. Joey, setting up the cameras. Ty, just hanging out. Hanging out, yeah. Man, you just come back down the, you don't want to break that car. <laughs> yeah, but do you like driving, you like driving time attack a lot? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? For sure. It's totally different, right? Yeah. But um, in the end, I'm learning, like, you know, I think I, the technique I can, I learn from these, uh, rewarding the drifting too. Ah. Kind of interesting, right? But yeah. it, at the end of the day, it's a, a car control skill. So. so let's see how those guys do. Cold brake, slick tires, and uh, Mike Kojima. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. Can we turn off all the stuff on the computer? Or are you yeah, just I trying to adjust so. your radio? So I have traction control off, I think. R mode on, I think. I don't even know what R mode is. What is? You don't even. Know. I hope it doesn't stand for reverse or something. That would be bad. I've never driven this car in my whole life. Really? No. Uh, so I don't know. Do you need to put heat in the brakes at all? Well, I'm gonna. I'll be okay. You sure? Yeah. All right. You gotta line them up, Nads. You gotta line them up. You gotta line them up, dude. You can't just be like, just like willy nilly standing there drinking. <laughs> you gotta do something. You gotta like line them up. Jump super hard. What a sc he just rolling. Man. I mean, I mean to be honest, to be honest, Mike said I was just gonna cheat the whole time, so he's just going to the jump every time. I can't find the uh, clutch point. Oh, cause is it like this deep? The clutch? No, but you know like how you preload the clutch? Yeah. To get a better launch, like. You can't find that. Yeah, well, you haven't driven the car, so. Yeah, I don't know this car. So yeah. It's creeping a little. It doesn't have a parking brake. So, this one is for the whole enchilada. That's it. This is for the whole enchilada. This is it. All right. All right. I'm this. I'm counting for Mike's jump here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kojima didn't jump, right? And, no one? And we gave, we gave him. Yep, and he basically won the whole enchilada. You got the whole taco plate, Mike. You got the whole deal, you won. I didn't jump that time. No, you didn't jump that time. And Naz even pushed you back like a foot and a half. <laughs> Man. That's it? 
Embrace your inner samurai. Oh, really oh. go for it. Get mad. Like, you want to break the camera like, with your voice. Come on. Yeah. That's a wrap! That's all we're gonna do now. Spin around like this now. It's like it's sick and I fall down. That's it.